Hey guys, I want to talk to you about a serious subject in this video. And I'm going to tell you a story which may make you judge me as a harsh father, but I have to tell you this story to understand this. I remember when my daughter first started working and she was working and working on saving and I tried to explain something to her but I attempted it by using these words which may have been a bit harsh but I said savers are losers and now I'm repeating that subject to you but I'm going to explain why I said it, which I did at the time as well. I'm not just explaining it to you, but I explained it to her as well. Where do you save your money? Most people save their money in these big banks. Maybe it's a Citibank, a Bank of America, Chase whatever the case is, some people save in what's called high-yield savings accounts, which are giving you 5%, 4.5%. That's acceptable. I feel you could do better, but I would say that that's acceptable. However, if you're getting less than 2% on your money that you're saving, I'm going to show you something. And what I'm going to show you is, the, now this is December 30th of 2023. The inflation rate right now is 3.14%. What that means is the cost of average things that you would go to the store and buy, your groceries, all kinds of things like that, they are currently going up at a rate of 3.14% a year. If you're making less than 3.14% a year on your money, let's say you're making 2% a year, you're actually losing money to the rate of inflation. So savers are losers is not an insult. It's a fact. What rate of interest are you making on your money? Now, I put out a this week's stock winners every week. And we are now in December of 2023. I put out... Um, a special edition just recently called the results of this week's stock winners to show you how some of the stocks that was mentioned in the week of November 13th to 17th is doing now two months later. And I'm going to just show you five of those stocks and the return and the interest in this two-month period. So, we're going to start with Oakland Beauty. When they were mentioned, they were at $409.27 a share. Right now, two months later, they're at $489.99 a share. That's a gain of $80.72 a share. 
and that's a 19.72% return in two months. Waters Corporation, when they were mentioned, they were at $261.88 a share. Now they're at $329.23 a share. That's a gain of $67.35 a share and a 25.71% gain in two months. Thermo Fisher Scientific, they were at $466.42 a share when mentioned. Now they're at $530.79 a share. That's a gain of $64.37, or 13.80% in two months. And Goldman Sachs, they were at $339.19 a share. That was two months ago. Now they're at $385.77 a share. That is $46.58 a share, or 13.73% return on your money in two months. And we also have PayCobb. They were at $177.50 a share. Now they're at $206.72 a share. That's a gain of $29.22 a share, or 16.46% in two months. So in any event, those are just five of the companies that was mentioned in that episode of this week's winning stocks. We put it out every week. So please subscribe to the channel. Check the this week's winning stocks, which will benefit us as well as benefit you financially. And please like the video. Okay, you guys have a great night and a very happy new year.